1 Corinthians 10.25. Anyone who enters a contest into strict training, now they do it to win a wreath that withers, but we win one that never withers. So what he's talking about is athletes train so much for this honor, for this wreath, um, and it was a prize, an obtainable prize. We as Christians seek a prize that can't be won on this earth and can't fade away. Okay, we're in Luke 8, 46 and 47. Luke 8, 46 and 47. You did not anoint my head, this is Jesus speaking, with oil, but this woman has anointed my feet with her fragrant oil. Therefore I say to you, her sins are many, are forgiven, for she has shown great love. But whoever receives little, loves very little. So what he's saying here, first off, this is the anointing that he gets before his crucifixion. The only anointing prior to his death that he gets. Because they go in to do it on Sunday, and he's risen. So this is the only anointing he gets prior to his death. He doesn't mention this. He mentions, you broke the custom by not anointing me. So don't convict her for doing something you should have been doing. Yes, she's a sinner, but she's showing faith. More faith than you showed. Therefore, she's forgiven. You need to seek the same thing she's seeking. And realize, your high place, your prideful attitude, doesn't enter you into a humble service of, for me. We need to make sure we don't look beneath the people who are looking up to God, but join them looking up to Him. Because we don't need to try to put ourselves on the same level or lo of the Lord, or even be like Him who may have been putting Himself higher than Jesus. 